So for today's episode, you guys, we are going to be doing a couple of different goals. Uh, right now, we are currently hanging out at the spot of our future main base. If you caught our last episode, this is where we're going to call home. Uh, we're going to be playing around with the castles and keeps, the uh, future style mod uh, for building. And I think Mr. Jane Cobb is out and he's, we're going to be meeting up with him. He's actually kind of playing around and tinkering with a bit of a build right now. Hopefully we get to show it off uh, maybe in a future episode. Um, but for now, we're just getting ourselves set up. I've cleared out this area. I'm going to put down a uh, massive dino gate there. I've got a little hut going here to start getting some metal. So um, in looking at what we're going to need, it's going to be a lot of metal and a lot of cementing paste. So we're starting to farm. Um, with that, today we're going to head out and I want to get ourselves some snails, uh, some acatinas, so we can start getting the paste going and uh, utilize that um, uh, that taming, that I guess it was like the narcotics mod that we had going. I want to use that a little bit more, try and tame a couple of those guys. So, um, And then uh, I got a couple things to show you guys, so just hang on. All right, so here we are back at starter base and we've got a couple new additions to our tribe. Um, yeah, a couple of creatures that we want to set out on on land and check out some stuff with. Uh, this was just a little bit of a test build here, playing around with the uh, the future castles and keeps mod. Uh, this is what the pieces are going to look like, so almost looks a little bit like something out of a sci-fi game. Like a, I don't know, like a No Man's Sky or something maybe. But um, So I wanted to bring you guys in here and show you this. Um, I've got an area built for the snails. We're going to go grab those here shortly. But this thing right here, uh, actually Jane Cobb stumbled across this, and this is from the, what is it, Akatsuma mod? Do you remember no. what it is? Yeah. <laughs> it's something like that. Yeah, it's in the mod description down below uh but anyways it's it's uh got a bunch of really neat building feature pieces to it so he found this in our engrams it's a meat and berry spoiler this thing is incredible if you're looking for something that uh spoils meat and does it fast i'll show you what i mean here so literally you just build this thing uh and it's actually just built right on your person um type in meat right here and it's very cheap, so 10 fiber, 25 stone, 25 thatch, 15 wood. Uh, very cheap to make. And all you gotta do is literally just dump your meat inside and look at that. Look at how fast that is just spoiling that meat like crazy. And you can do it actually with uh, all the meats. So if I add in some raw mutton, boom, there goes the raw mutton adding to it. So yeah, if you want something that's gonna spoil meat and do it quickly and well, you know with a whole bunch of stacks put in here this this is the way to go so incredible find um but with that yeah that's just to show off a couple quick things uh and what we've got for future plans so the, the idea is that we're going to be uh stacking up and getting the materials ready and starting to work on the new base so this was just the starter base we're going to be moving and uh, we're going to meet up with jane cobb and uh hopefully head out and collect ourselves some snails so i'm thinking we've got these crazy cool griffins so we should bring them up into those islands and uh have a look around anyway yeah hey! right beside you. well why are you so much faster than me <laughs> points into speed baby points into speed oh that would do it Ooh, hey yep. and if we come across tech creatures we need them yeah but they have to be eaten by the other. Uh, yeah. Or just whack them with my other pick axe or axe. Well, the other problem is, is when you jump off, sometimes these assholes go and eat them on you. Or you gotta change their harvest settings. Huh? Yeah, yeah they have a harvest setting. I played with that earlier. Um, and that's what actually... Yeah, so if you go into them, like into their options, and you know how you would normally, um, like, yeah. you can go, like, attack your creature and all that other jazz. There's mm -hmm. one for harvest settings, and you click on the one that says disable victim item collection. This is a cool area. I like this little island. 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, that raptor came out of nowhere. Oh, this is the spot where Neebs built his base. Yeah? Yeah. So, I know I'm in the right vicinity for snails. Okay. If you stay so. Do you, that the other thing you gotta be careful for is there is rock drakes over here too. That's a pretty neat waterfall in here. Oh wow. Oh dude, this area is beautiful. This area I'm in is pretty cool too. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow man. Very cool. It's it's almost got like an Alice in Wonderland feel to it. Mhm. Mm Are you in that cave type area? Yeah. Yeah. That's where I was. Okay. That looks really cool. Yeah, man. Let's park these guys inside the entrance. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, dude, that's one of those sleepy assholes. Or not sleepy assholes, but the, the knock Ooh. you out dudes. What level? Megalania. Mm hmm. You ready? Here we go. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, yeah, there's two of them. Oh, oh. oh are you trying to knock one out? He's running away. Mm -hmm. Must be getting very that sleepy. Is there he is. Nice. What level? 380. Oh, okay. Oh, that's him there. Nope, that's a Lamantra. Did you knock out two Lamantras? <laughs> nope. Now I'm on edge because I don't know where the other guy is. <gasps> hey, there we go. I see. I see an artifact. Should we try going down? Sure. Okay. In here. No. And you, uh, I'm gonna. Dude, look at this thing. Look at this dragon. This thing is amazing. We've got an artifact. What that? Should we want artifact attack? Yeah, it is. Boom, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, you're chasing that guy still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a glow you? tail still awake. I know. I want to, uh, I want to tame it, but I don't have mushrooms. Well, I'm assuming we can get the mushrooms from... Oh, dude, yeah, he's awake. <laughs> you're tamed? Dude. Yeah, he's tamed. That's hilarious. Yep. All right, I'll throw it in a crowd pod for you. I'm not gonna lie, that just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I was not expecting you to be there like that. <laughs> no? Nope, not at all. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go in on this guy. I hit this oh, up by there land. You go. Me? I'll be on land too. Look at me go. Look at you go. I'm gonna take my frog. I don't have a frog. Uh, no. You do have like a, a capra though. Oh, this is true. But I understand if you want to go on that guy too. Sometimes it's just nice to have a powerhouse. Especially mm -hmm. right now, like I've got a raptor in on me. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, I took him out. Alright, well, it would be great if we could come across a snail somewhere. Does this get us anything? Well, no, okay. Um, there is an artifact in the redwoods, too. That I remember. I'm gonna say it's somewhere near a fallen log. 
Okay. Yeah. Is it behind the rock? Oh. I don't know. I'm confused right now. Maybe that's at the back end of the honey cave? Oh, maybe. Oh, well, what's this? This looks like a cave. Oh. That's a full of assholes. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, we went in that cave once. Yeah? Yeah, and it served no purpose whatsoever. Oh. Yeah, I remember that one. I found the top entrance to the honey cave. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's a bee. Are you coming for me? Uh, dude, I found a giant pink bee. Look at that thing. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, funny thing is, are you mad at me? Oh, no. Okay. Funny thing is, we don't even need this cave with this mod that we've got. No, not even close. Oh, I found some green gems, possibly? Oh, sweet. Let's have a look here. Well, that just gave me metal and flint. Okay, what if I put on the normal pickaxe? Don't go anywhere, Mr. Brogue. Ah, there it is. Yep, some green gems. Sweet. But it's the blue ones we need for the uh, liner suit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll still grab some green gems. That's cool. Dude, I'm beginning to wonder about your Redwoods theory. So am I. They're always in the Redwoods. Typically in the past, that's where we've gotten a bunch of them for sure. So... Ooh, I think I found blue diamonds, or blue gems. Oh. What you got going on, sire? There is a... <gasps> oh, Lightning. that hurt. Oh, God. A That's a phyla. A level phyla. 580 phyla. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. And bright pink, too. Oh, there you go. Get me out of here. This guy does not have the health to take that on. <laughs> oh, he is messing up that uh, deer's day. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Give me a drink. Oh, shit! I just found the artifact. Hell yeah. Ah! All right. I'll definitely take that. Okay. Artifact oh, of the yeah. immune thing. Yep. <laughs> oh shit, I just found a camp. Right right to your left there in front of us, everybody. Oh. Oh, there, there you go. I just got hit. Oh, I got bullied. My frog got bullied. Damn. I guess I can't take that off of you. Sorry, Mr. Frog. You're just going to have to wait, I guess. What a bunch of jerks. Let's see if I turn this way. Oh, yeah, dude. That's so awesome. Where it puts the marker on you. Mm -hmm. Right? That's so cool. Like, I thought you meant, like, in the map. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. That's cool. All right. Did you want to go back to base and grab meat then? Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. I'll stay and protect this guy. Oh, that's so cool about this mod. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. So, not exactly the episode we thought that it would play out. Um, we set up with a goal to try to get ourselves some Akatina, as we're going to need a lot of cementing paste for our upcoming base build. The uh, mod that we're going to be using for the future castles and keeps, it does require a lot of cementing paste. Um, so we went out looking for snails, 
we didn't really find any in the traditional spots that we kind of thought that they would be. Uh, I went back on Google after we kind of finished recording uh, a couple of days later, and I looked it up on Google to see where some of the best spots were <laughs> on Crystal Isles to find Ocatina. And I went back out myself, uh, went looking for them, and I managed to find one, which is that uh, kind of pinkish red one up top there. So I found one uh, in several, I guess, in, in about an hour, actually, of just looking around. So, um, yeah, I don't know if they're just kind of scarce on this map or what the deal is. Uh, it, but, yeah, we got them. Um, the cool thing was, though, is that we did get a couple of artifacts. I was very pleased with that. That was some good accidents and finds. There was one more thing that I did want to show off just before we set out on today's episode here to finish it up. And that's this thing right here. So I had a comment uh, in one of the previous episodes, you guys, and it was to do with a question as far as the human NPC mod. And someone was wondering if you, is there a way so that you don't get them attacking your base all the time? Uh, and we noticed too that the attacks were they were kind of frequent they were happening every few minutes in, in intervals so what you do if you don't want them attacking your base but you still want to be able to have them on your map and find them out in the wild is you just build this sign and in your engrams here is going to be the no npc attack sign so jane Cobb put one up in our base and yeah it literally costs one wood you place the sign down uh and it prevents the npc attacks on structures within 100 meters so uh, as far as I know, you can actually have multiples of these, so you can set them up at, if you have outposts and base, you can set them up at, at any one of them, but that's all you gotta do. Just drop that down. We haven't had an attack since, so it's worked quite well. Uh, we've got our item collector down. He's gonna be collecting all of our, our poops and our pastes, so hopefully by the time we are basically ready to come back and start doing our massive base build, uh, we, I'll, I'll go off camera. I'll find a couple more Akatina. We'll get ourselves some more pace and we'll be ready to go. So with that, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we just got to show off a couple of mods today, very briefly, and getting ourselves set up for our future base build. Um, on your way out, if you did enjoy this episode, please drop a like down below for us. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next video.